What's up guys? So the NZXT H1 case had problems. Wouldn't you like to know how to fix it? Well, let's show you how to do it right now. So the NZXT H1, probably one of everybody's top cases from 2020, and alas, there became a problem. Well, what was the issue? In fewer than 10 cases of the NZXT H1, there were two screws on the riser cable that could short and actually cause a fire, which nobody actually wants. NZXT has a fix though, and we have that fix right here. Now, if you want more information down in the description below, I've got a link to the H1 Safety Recall website where you can go and work with their customer service to actually start getting these parts. And NZXT has started selling this case again with the upgraded parts, so this issue will not be a problem. NZXT is recommending that if you have an H1 that does not have the fix, that you power down the system just to be safe or use at your own risk. But near I say, having your house burned down doesn't seem like the kind of risk you may want to take. But today, we're going to take you through what you need to do that should you get a hold of some of these little secret nylon screws, what you need to do to replace them and get yourself up and going again. Pretty simple process, so let's get started. So what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a screwdriver, you're going to need these little screws. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. One thing I like about the NZXT H1 is it's mostly toolless. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull off the panels here at the bottom. There's the bottom one. Then on the other side, pull the bottom off of this. There it goes. There's already 50% done. And then what we're going to do is lift and pull this off as well. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the GPU. Down at the bottom, we have two screws we're going to pull out. Let's unscrew these. Now, what we're going to do is we're then going to remove the GPU. There's a little button that you push and then our GPU comes out. Just gonna remove the power cables on the side, remove the GPU. On the riser cable, you'll see there are two screws. They're black and they're on each side of this. These are the two screws we're gonna remove. Now, I wanna be super clear about something, guys. These screws, obviously they did not mean for them to be able to come out. So we had to use a couple screwdrivers to get these out. They can be tough. Um, we are using iFixit ones. We were able to get it from an angle, but just know that there's gonna be some struggles. If you have a really long screwdriver with a big head, that would be the best. Um, but uh, we were able to get it out with um, just an iFixit screw. So we're gonna take this screw and we're gonna remove this other screw right here. The riser cable is now free. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your nylon screws you're gonna take two of those. Okay, and they're just gonna snap in like this on both sides. So they just push in now, like that. And then you have little washers that you do on the bottoms. Same thing on the other side. You just basically tighten them as tight, tight as you can. I don't think being too tight is a big deal, but you wanna get them as finger tight as you possibly can. There you go. And now you're done. So you have a washer and a screw, washer and screw. So they don't screw in the same way. They're just basically a, screw, a nylon screw that goes through and then it's connected via a washer. Okay, now that we've got that all put together, put our GPU back in, attach our power cables like so. We're gonna grab our two screws, set this up, grab our top like that, glass front panel. Switch it to the other side. And finally, pop in our power and hit the button. And there you go. A completely fixed and working NZXT H1 that is now not going to catch fire. 
if you are one of 10 people. That is it for this video. Just wanted to basically walk you through the simple steps that should you have an NZXT H1, you have decided to go and get the fix so you can continue to use your system. Uh, that is the steps that you're gonna take uh, to get this set up. Again, there's a link in the description below on where to get the parts, so check that out. Also, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we go live here on the channel. Outside of that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one.